Melanie B. Garan, a teacher, was found guilty of child abuse under the Republic Act 7610 for compelling her students, including a lone student identified as AAA, to place trash, including scraps of paper, pencil shavings, dirt, and candy wrappers in their mouth within the classroom. the decision of the lower court in Antipolo City and the appellate court in the lower courts deemed the Rims Act deplorable and a violation of the law protecting children from abuse, exploitation, and discrimination. The court also addressed the question of awarded damages to the lone student who filed the compliant. Additionally, the court scrutinized the Court of Appeals' decision to drop part of the Antipolo Court's ruling concerning damages. Moreover, an important consideration is whether Ms. Garrett's abusive conduct was isolated to AAA or if it extended to other students, raising potential questions about the broader impact of her actions on the student body. This aspect is crucial in determining the full scope of abuse and assessing in any collective harm inflicted by Ms. Garrett. The court evaluated the evidence to establish the extent of the abuse and whether it had systemic implications within the classroom or affected the student beyond the loan compliance. The Supreme Court upheld the lower court's decision affirming the Rings guilt of child abuse under Republic Act 7610. The court found that Garrett's act of forcing students to place trash in their mouth debased, degraded, and demeaned their intrinsic worth and dignity as children. The court ordered Garrett to serve a maximum of six years in prison. To her conviction, Ms. Garin petitioned the Supreme Court to review the Court of Appeals' decision contesting her guilt of child abuse. However, the Supreme Court denied Ms. Garin's petition, citing her failure to sufficiently show any reversible error in her challenge. Decision 1 of the Court of Appeals in CAGR CR number 42065 dated December 16, 2021.
ratifying the Court of Appeals decision, the Supreme Court sentenced Garin to imprisonment ranging from 4 years, 9 months, and 11 days of prison correctional, as a maximum of 6 years, 8 months, and 1 day of prison mayor as a maximum. Additionally, Garin was ordered to pay the loans to the AAA the amount of 20,000 pesos as a moral damages, 20,000 pesos as a exemplary damages, 20,000 pesos as temporary damages, and 15,000 pesos as a fine. These awarded damages would accrue legal interest at a rate of 6% per year until or two. The Supreme Court emphasized that Garner's Act significantly impacted the mental and emotional development of the student, leading to lead poisoning and post-traumatic stress disorder. The Supreme Court appealed the Court of Appeals decision and highlighted the manifest prejudice to AAP's normal development due to Garin's deplorable act. In her actions, Ms. Gary not only breached the principles of professional conduct, but also violated the Code of Ethics for Professional Teachers, particularly the Article 8, Section 8, which explicitly prohibits the corporal punishment. Her conduct not only undermines in the fundamental values of teaching, but also jeopardizes the well-being and the psychological development of the students, contradicting to the ethical standards set forth for the educators. This case serves as a poignant reminder of the legal consequences for actions that compromise the well-being and dignity of children, reinforcing the importance of safeguarding their rights. It serves as a call for action, urging educational institutions, policymakers, and communities to remain vigilant in protecting the vulnerable from any form of abuse ensuring that the dignity and rights of every child are upheld and preserved. I am Jay Anayos and I am Ibrahim Flores and, and this is the Court of Justice where truth will always win. Go!